Atma Namaste, everyone. Okay. Looking forward to for people to join in for our Crystal Connect number 20. And as it turns out to be, we're doing a, a beautiful crystal for today's Crystal Connect. And I feel that every woman should have this particular crystal in their collection. So no matter what age, this crystal is an absolutely must have for every girl, every lady, every woman, because it really helps you to connect with the divine feminine nature within. And if you understand, uh, in today's life, most of women, you know, are taking up pivotal roles, you know, they are they're working like men. And what happens is with, with that added stress, with that role playing of a man, that we usually do, uh, we lose touch with our own divine feminine nature, which is full of compassion, nurturing, creativity, the energy that just flows um, and accelerates our right brain thinking. So hi Nihal, hi everyone. So Moonstone is a beautiful, beautiful crystal to work with uh, especially when you want to balance the divine feminine aspect within you. And uh, there are several varieties of moonstone. The one that I have in ball is a peach moonstone. And uh, there is also rainbow moonstone. So you cannot see much of a rainbow there, but uh, this is slightly whiter and has these um, labradorins. So it's it it gives out uh, radiations or you know you can see this beautiful blue light coming out of this crystal which uh, gives a beautiful rainbow impact so this is this is the rainbow moonstone and then you have a beautiful variety called the white moonstone also so so basically you find a lot of variety in moonstone and every variety has its own property so you can use it for a lot of purposes. Now, if you understand that the moon has a lot of significance when it comes to human kingdom or human beings, because with if you understand, you know, the moon can pull or push tides in an ocean, right? We've all seen it. If you've been to Juhu, if you've been in uh, any uh, place which has a sea or an ocean, you understand that you know on a full moon there are huge tides that happen that take place uh, in the seaside on the seaside or in the in the sea or ocean similarly because we are 72 around 65 percent of water there is a lot that goes on within ours uh, our ourselves within uh, you know inside ourselves with respect to emotions with respect to the fluid that we have and also the hormones so a lot of it is controlled by moon and uh, you know usually we only talk about the sun signs but in uh, eastern tradition the moon sign is also uh, uh, a lot significant but gradually we, we most of us don't know our moon signs so you know it is important to know your moon sign because it really impacts you <laughs> yeah that's an added tip <laughs> apart from crystal connect so um i use moonstone in quite a lot of my workshop because basically when we are working with women it really helps it aids to provide women with uh, you know that added confidence it is a, a stone that brings a lot of balance between the yin and yang you know energies and uh, if so if you're if you're not the emotional kinds and very uh, action oriented for, especially for men, it uh, moonstone becomes a good crystal to keep with you because it helps you to connect with the heart. It helps you, you know, think more creatively. Uh, instead of just linear thinking, you can you can be more creative. So it's a great crystal. Hi Neha, hello. Also, um, you know, it, uh, I, I've used moonstone on Mother's Day. If people remember, I combined rose quartz with moonstone, which becomes an excellent crystal for for uh, mothers because you need so much of passion and compassion 
<laughs> while raising kids and uh, you also oh that's nice neha if you have a moonstone pen and do keep it with you it's it's really good so all those who have moonstone you know start uh, respecting that crystal because Uh, for women especially it can do a lot of wonders if you know how to properly cleanse and consecrate it you can use it for various purposes so you know it can align women with their uh, menstrual cycles it helps to balance the hormones within your system so pms you know if you have the pms syndrome hi shivali atma namaste it helps you with that also and uh, um okay also you know people who are struggling with fertility it's an excellent crystal to keep um, along with carnelian and rose quartz so you can create a beautiful belt out of these three crystals if you want to you know conceive or wear a nice bracelet with the i have one i think we created one with the moonstone carnelian and rose quartz it's an excellent combination uh, for uh, for people who want to have a baby it's uh, and uh, women who want to have a healthy uh, reproductive system it really aids aids all of that so uh, you know that is for women but in ancient tradition you know uh, moonstone was a very revered stone especially in india it was used for a lot of uh, you know for going deep within so a crystal that could help you with your inward journey so in india we used to use as a talisman also you know to for protection and uh, uh, you can use moonstone crystals for children who have a lot of nightmares you know so you can program a moonstone and keep beside them uh, to avoid any kind of uh, terrifying dreams that your children can have so it's very very useful that way so um, you know if we go with the color the peach moonstone the necklace that i'm wearing is a great crystal for people you know who want to bring out the best within them so you know it's so with moonstone also like i'm telling there are three, three to four colors that are available so you can use each color um, you know to its maximum by knowing the properties so for example peach moonstone you can bring out the best within you also it helps you to soothe uh, anxiety depression so all of these uh, lower emotions can be taken care by peach moonstone now the white moonstone is you know actually in sync with the full moon so it's very good for um, starting any creative project it's like a, a beautiful crystal to work with when it comes to self worth you know it's it's good and uh, the other variety is rainbow moonstone the one that i'm trying to show but you will not be able to see the uh, rainbows because it's like a blue color just like labradorite and if you understand moonstone it's a feldspar variety just like labradorite and uh, has this beautiful labradorescence so you see these beautiful blue, blue sparks coming out of this crystal which makes it intensely magical and mystical and beautiful so um this particular crystal you know it is like di it diffuses light so it brings out any kind of um, you know fears uh, any kind of emotions that are holding you back and uh, if you want to really work on those shadows it's good to wear a rainbow moonstone it will really give you deeper insights into you and also understand the mystery behind you if you want to go and delve into that deeper journey so overall you know it's it's a excellent again i say for every woman if you can have a piece of moonstone with you it's a hi rashi atma namaste so you know if you have it with you um, you will see um, like you know just by holding a moonstone in your hand and if you just put it for 11 minutes you will experience a deep sense of calm within you so it's uh, because you know as moon con uh, controls the emotions similarly moonstone has a lot of connection with with emotions so any time when you are depressed any time when you are feel you, you feel out of balance you know if you feel stuck in life you can just hold a moonstone for 11 minutes and see the difference that it creates within your emotional body it's like you know magical and uh, 
so you can also wear a uh, moonstone jewelry so especially you know on occasions like new moon so if you understand new moon is the time of manifestation and if you have to work a lot with manifestation my go to crystals are moonstone selenite and labradorite so these three crystals are excellent for working during the new moon time and also for full moon rituals you know, they are they are connected with the selene goddess or the moon goddess so you can program them you can keep them while you are making your wish and uh, infuse the energy of the full moon or full moon into your rituals also uh, like i said it's an excellent crystal for fertility so people who are struggling with fertility or they have issues with their reproductive especially women have issues with their reproductive system you know carry a, a, a moonstone along with carnelian it will really help this is a very good combination for women and uh, like i said you know you can wear it like jewelry you can wear it as a, you know or keep it as a pouch you can have these crystals in a pouch and carry them with you also it's a good crystal for those who travel frequently um, it it is a good protection crystal so you can use for that uh, the other use that i really like is to take a, a moonstone gem water bath right so you can take a few pebbles like these and you put it in your bath tub or bucket and let them soak in overnight to infuse the water or charge the water with the beautiful energies of the moon and then in the morning you can just take your, um, your bath and you will feel a sense of difference especially when you have a very emotional day and if you want to balance your emotions it is an excellent uh, way so Okay, Peng Shui tip for uh, Moonstone. I'm just thinking with respect to Peng Shui. Um, basically, uh, you can keep it in your bedroom, right? So it would be good to keep near your bedside table, uh, especially for a good night's sleep. You know, so it becomes an excellent crystal. Jade is charged with Pranishakti. How long? Okay, see charging, uh, consecration, all of this depends upon the usage and, and the environment to which it is um, exposed. So a crystal, the, the, the energy or the consecration of a crystal um, you know, is, is all about extracting or absorbing, disintegrating the energy. So if you are relatively in a cleaner environment, the the uh, consecration might last longer as compared to if you're in a dirty place you might have to do it more you know, frequently so it depends and again dan if i i just hope i answered your question so but uh, you know we can connect on this later also if there is any specific uh, question jade is an excellent crystal see another thing that you can do is um, if you know selenite is an excellent crystal for um, cleaning crystals so what most of the time what i do is you know jewelry like this if i wear it during the day i put this jewelry onto a selenite plate at night and uh, while it is cleansed during the night in the morning i can reprogram it and wear it so uh, that also becomes a good way of cleansing or ensuring that your uh, jewelry is not contaminated with dirty energy so selenite comes in really very handy and then you can always put it in the moonlight or uh, you know during full moon or sunlight depending upon the uh, type of crystal so for example the crystals that are more in tune with the moon energy i suggest you clean them or put them out during a full moon for crystals like citrine pyrite you know which are connected more with the solar energy they love to be soaked in the sun so you can use them uh, or put them out cleanse them and put them out in the sun so if you're regular at the crystal connects, you will get to know which, you know, how to treat every crystal and what you can do about it. So Jade, I think I'll, I'll, I'll soon talk about Jade. It's an interesting crystal, but, um, you know, rarely found in India. You, you don't get a genuine Jade easily, but uh, it's a good uh, crystal, lucky crystal to have around. So that would be good. So this is all about... Uh, I think uh, 
moonstone so if you want to okay <laughs> if you want to love openly you know you want to be expressive in love you want to be passionate uh, these crystals are extremely good because you know the, the energy of the moon is very bubbly so if you've noticed you know if you're full of happiness during a full moon you will be extra happy and chirpy during full moon that is the kind of energy uh, moon brings in so whatever you are within it will just enhance it <coughs> so a great crystal to wear during the times of happiness as well because uh, you know it tends to bring out more happiness more love more emotions within you so it's 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 a beautiful crystal and uh, for those who have not tried it i would suggest you know keep a piece of moonstone and just be with it for some time and try to connect with the energies you will feel a difference especially in your emotional body and most of us you know connect a lot with our emotional body as compared to our mental bodies so uh, these crystals are really helpful in exploring our own emotions our own blockages in terms of emotion okay so uh, i'll be writing a blog on it and uh, you know i've already updated the blog on shungite and uh, all the previous crystals so if you want to read more about crystals go to sargamishra.blog and you will find all my crystal connect uh, you know blogs there if you want to see previous crystal connect videos please go on the youtube channel which i will post in the comments and you can see previous videos without you know going on facebook and just looking for these videos so thank you so much for joining and atma uh, namaste if you have any questions you can post and i would like to hear your uses of uh, moonstone how do you use your moonstone and if you have any other interesting way you can definitely share with me in the comments and also you can subscribe my crystal alchemy page uh, for latest uh, jewelry um, on crystals and um, our new stock so thank you so much the next crystal connect will happen from uk so i'll see you there bye good night apna namaste